I'm already thinking about putting a toss on it because it's too loud. Yeah, guys. Finally running. God dang, squeaky ass car. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be doing more progress on the turbo truck. I got it all taken apart again. So I got the computer tuned twin turbo truck at at the Sets Unlimited. He's a really cool guy. I love the way he like helps you out and breaks everything down for you to make sure you got everything right. He's not just looking to give you a tune and take your money and that's it. So he stands behind his work. He ran down through the through the, the important list that I needed to have to make sure that I had everything. And I was missing a few things, kind of like um, the O2 sensors. So I got this one here, and then I'm a, I have the other one on the exhaust as well. But this is just the wide band uh, O2 sensors for the gauges. Those are not my actual O2 sensors that read to the computer and that are from the truck from factory but he said since I'm gonna be tuned just on wastegate pressure pretty much I need to put my original ones before the turbo so what I ended up doing is I ended up putting them here I don't know if you guys can tell but I put the O2 sensor down there and then I did the same on that one so I had to take the turbos out, drill a hole, weld it, weld the O2 bung, and then put it all back together. So I did that. And then what he also told me to do is that I needed to run my map sensor on the other turbo charge that I did. Uh, he's not gonna be running that, but he said this one is gonna be a map sensor truck. So I already took the little pipe here. That's where I'm gonna put it. So it's gonna go kind of like that. I bought the little bracket thing that's gonna go on to. I drilled the hole and then I took it to the guy today that he's gonna weld it because he's the one that welds aluminum. That's getting welded, I'm gonna get that back tomorrow. The other little things I'm doing is kind of like, oh, I also bought a 2.5 map sensor and it actually hooks up right into my existing one. So that's pretty cool. All I'm doing is making sure all the pipes have a bead on the end and I use this tool to make a bead on them because some of them don't have it. It's a pretty cool little trick. You can kind of see how this one has a bead on it right there. That way the coupler doesn't pop off on the boot. Alright guys, I took it out. So you can see I had six AN fitting all right here and then eventually it ran short. So I had a lot of AN hose, so I thought I would just cut it and then extend it with AN hose, put in some fittings, and then going back to six AN and then using the fitting. But yep, I was looking from right here. Got my little fitting ready to go back in and then put some tape on it. And then you guys can see right there that's where the fitting set and I don't want to just leave it open so that's where I'm gonna cap it with this so I'm just gonna put this over it and then that way it's closed and not open all right guys I think I got everything ready everything's ready here got the fuel line connected back again all right let's turn it on see what happens fingers crossed <laughs> Turn my windows down because it's hot. They're running red. Good oil pressure. I think he tunes it to get uh, to be rich, just on the base tune, just to be safe. All right, so. You can see there's a pretty little good puddle right there. And it's looking right from right there, that corner. Remember guys, I told you where my oil pan gasket was bad? Yeah, that's where it's looking from. All right guys, now I'm ready. I still had the exhaust hanging under the truck. 
it was hanging on the transmission cross member. Yeah, everything seems all right. The only thing I'm missing is just a T-bolt clamp here, besides the oil leak. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna take this, because it's always better to be safe than sorry. Seems like a struggle on first gear a little bit. It's probably because it's super rich. I'm already thinking about putting a toss on it because it's too loud. barely even got up the tent. It's not even hot. That's my trans temp at. Alright guys, so there it is. Truck's running. I'm gonna test drive it again. Uh, probably later on. Probably tomorrow. Make sure everything's good. And then I just gotta change that oil pan gasket. I'm sure it's running like that because it's running super rich as you can tell on the gauge. It's just running like all the way on the rich side. We'll get that settled down once we take it to LSS Unlimited but yeah guys. Finally running. God dang squeaky ass car. But yeah guys, Dynaco is finally running. Stay tuned for the Dino video. Should be pretty soon. Make sure to subscribe, help out the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video.